KBOI FM is a commercial radio station located in New Plymouth, Idaho, broadcasting to the Boise, Idaho area. KBOI FM airs a news slash talk format branded as News Talk Koi and is under ownership of Cumulus Media. In April 1990, KISN moved over to 92. 3 FM. In its place came KZMG Magic 93 with an adult contemporary format. By 1992, the station became top 40 as Magic 93.1 going head-to-head with KFXD FM. After a rough initial launch, the station eventually took down heritage rival KFXD to become the dominant pop station throughout the decade. The station made headlines when popular KFXD jock Evan the Hitman abruptly bailed on his shift and called into Magic to announce that he was leaving the towers of Amity Road behind. Magic's popularity began a steady decline after rival Six rated Magic's talent roster, resulting in the loss of several personalities, including PD and morning show host Mike Casper and co-host Kate McGuire. While Six's attempt to take over the top 40 market fell short, the damage from losing the morning show proved costly. A laundry list of morning show experiments and frequent talent turnover did little to solve the problem. When KSAS FM was launched in 2000, the two immediately began a head-to-head matchup, and the two stations seesawed back and forth in the ratings. In the beginning, KSA's featured talent voice track from other markets, while KZMG adopted a live and local approach. However, when KSA's turned to more local stunts and events, KZMG got knocked down to third place as it turned to syndication. On October 5, 2009, KZMG dropped the Heritage Magic name and reverted to 93.1 hit music now, but still kept the existing format, Top 40 slash CHR. The logo and branding was similar to CBS Radio's KAMP-FM. WNOW-FM, WVMV and Beasley Broadcasting's KFRH. The new imaging also featured shorter DJ interruptions and a playlist adjustment to better compete with KSAs. Despite the change, the rise of another rival quit had changed the dynamics of the top 40 wars to take on KSAs directly. And it became evident that Boise could not support three top 40 stations. This, along with corresponding advances in digital music storage technology such as iPods and the internet essentially doomed KZMG, and talk of a format flip soon intensified. After an 18th place finish in the ratings, the widely rumored change was executed. At 3 p.m. on January 26, 2011, Citadel Broadcasting began simulcasting 1,350 tick on 93. 1, and imaged itself as 93.1 the ticket. Longtime DJ Matt MJ Johnson announced a Super Bowl contest and played Bye 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 by NSYNC as the final song on 93. One hit music now. The new format debuted with Idaho Sports Talk with Jeff Caves and Mike Prodder, who interviewed Johnson. Minor league sports broadcasts such as the Boise Hawks and the Idaho Steelheads will not be heard on the FM frequency, instead, it will broadcast either ESPN Radio or Westwood One programming. On February 2, 2011, the call letters changed to KTIK FM. Citadel merged with Cumulus Media on September 16, 2011. Cumulus Media announced that it will drop ESPN Radio from 47 of its stations nationwide, including TIC, and will replace it with a newly launched CBS Sports Radio. The move officially took effect on January 2, 2013. On November 26, 2021, it was announced that the station would drop its simulcast with 13.50 a.m. on January 3, 2022 and will move its programming to new translator K237 Ha95. 3 in Nampa. On January 3, 2022 KTIK FM changed their format from sports to a simulcast of news-slash-talk formatted KBOI 670 a.m. under new KBOI FM call letters. Thanks for watching.